Again at five with new information about that devastating fire at a former North City church. A small business owner who uses that building to store furniture and other items for sale is also feeling the loss. Good evening, I'm Brent Solomon. Skate Laborious was a popular spot for skaters and artists to unite, but they're not the only ones impacted by that massive fire. New at five, Mercedes McKay caught up with a small business owner who's also taking a hit. Mercedes. Brent, Madeline Lumpy described it as devastating. Not only was a lot of her inventory for her vintage shop destroyed or severely damaged in the fire, but she also spent a lot of time at Skate Laborious personally. Lumpy opened up her shop Black Rabbit Vintage about a year and a half ago. It's been a dream of hers since she was in high school because her passion is keeping other people's memories alive. Lumpy heard about the church fire early in the morning on June 29th. Luckily, her storage room did not fully burn down, but a lot of her inventory was badly damaged from water and soot. Some things had to be thrown away completely, while others are going to cost a lot of time and money to salvage. Lumpy says it's a loss of thousands of dollars, but the loss goes beyond just finances. I'm definitely more of a memory collector than I am a vintage dealer, and uh, so just having to let go of that was really hard for me too because I do hold a lot of that and anytime I can pass on a story or a memory to the next owner, I always do. I have so many photos, I have so many emails from families that are just so grateful for what I do and having to just watch that devastation happen, it just hit me in such a different way I feel like. Like I mentioned, Lumpy said she spent a lot of time at Skate Laborious doing everything from seeing shows in the basement to even celebrating the lives of friends she lost. Coming up at 6, I'll share how you can help her out. All right, Mercedes, thank you.